So as a mariner, what would be your action if you are carrying a coal cargo and the temperature of which starts to rise while the vessel is at sea? All right, so this is again an oral question asked. And that's why I thought I'll address this question. So when the vessel is at sea and the temperature of the coal cargo begins to rise, uh, you have to think about the coal cargo, especially sometimes as self-heating coals. And if the temperature starts to exceed 55 degrees and is increasing rapidly, a potential fire situation may be developing. So you may start to suspect that such a situation will occur soon if you find that the temperature of the cargo starts to rise rapidly. In this case, the actions will include closing the cargo space and stopping all the ventilation that's taking place. As a master, you must seek expert advice immediately and should consider making for the nearest suitable port of refuge. In any case, water should not be used for cooling the cargo or fighting the coal fire at sea, but may be used for cooling the cargo space boundaries. However, you must note that even the adjacent holes may also have coal cargo and thus may create further complications if water is used. So what happens if water is used for fighting the coal cargo? Coal cargo will absorb all the water. So although the fire may be extinguished, there could be a problem with the coal cargo now behaving like a liquid because of all the moisture that it will absorb. The cargo will now develop a flow state because of all the liquid and then start to slosh about in the cargo holes, especially if the divisions are not fitted. In this case, if the cargo starts to shift, then a potential angle of lull or a heavy list on one side from which the ship may not be able to come back to the upright position may develop and this will lead to further complications. You have to remember that coal is a bad conductor of heat and any failure to detect any hot areas should not be taken as a sign that spontaneous combustion is not taking place. However, remember that digging of coal to access the lower areas for temperature is not recommended in any case. To minimize the explosion risk due to the methane that is emitted from the coal cargo, even spontaneous combustion is suspended. Just involve surface ventilation and continue with surface ventilation. So special fans are fitted in this cargo hold which carries coal that can carry out surface ventilation of the cargo. If fire is confirmed, then ensure hold is completely closed down to prevent entry of any kind of air because that will provide it with the oxygen it requires to further spread the fire and making it a big fire. Additionally, if possible, apply the CO2. So you have fixed firefighting systems, CO2 systems on the ship. Some of the ships may also have an inert gas system or a high expansion system that force can be forced into the hold if available. Uh, sometimes inert gas system can be an option in OBO ships, that is oil and bulk ores, but uh, many a times inert gas may not be available in general cargo vessels if they are carrying coal. But CO2 should be applicable and CO2 should be available on such ships and you can uh, use the CO2. It will be an effective way of extinguishing the fire. However, make sure that even if you release CO2 or any inert gas, the space remains closed and absolutely sealed, not letting any entry of air until the vessel reaches the nearest port or the port of refuge. Uh, 